All right, so today we're going to be demoing some line drills. We're going to start with hands. Um, we will be demonstrating three level difficulty variations for each technique we do. I will be demonstrating advanced, more advanced techniques. Mrs. Drico will be demonstrating kind of an intermediate level. And Mrs. Smith on the far end will be demonstrating more of a beginner level. Um, as you go through these, feel free to pick whichever level you feel aligns with your knowledge and your skills. Um, but also feel free if you want to challenge yourself, you can always jump up a level to the next level that makes you feel a little bit uncomfortable. You could add techniques or change things up with the combinations we're showing to make them harder or come up with your own. This is just uh, a few to give you guys some ideas what to do. So first technique, we'll be stepping out in a front stance. We have a low block, high block, reverse punch. One more time, that is low block, high block, reverse punch. Once again, that's the advanced level. For the intermediate level, we will have low block, reverse punch. Again, low block, reverse punch. And then for the beginner level, we're just going to do low block. Again, low block. All right, so left side first. Stepping out, side punch, horse stance, reverse punch, front stance, and then outside, inside block in a fighting stance. One more time, side punch in a horse stance, reverse punch in a fighting, uh, front stance, pulling back, outside, inside block in a fighting stance. For the intermediate level, we're stepping out into a side punch, horse stance, reverse punch, front stance. Again, side punch, horse, reverse punch, front. And for the beginner level, we're just going to step out into a side punch in horse stance. Again, side punch in horse stance. One thing to keep in mind with this technique is when we turn, right, is that side punch turn coming out of that turn. Instead of just twisting and throwing your arm out, you want a full rechamber before you strike out that next punch. Keep that in mind. All right, stepping out left side first. Yep. Stepping onto a front stance, low X block, high X block, and a double hammer fist strike to the ribs. So one more time, that is a low X block, high X block, double hammer fist strike right to the side of the ribs. For the intermediate level, low X block, high X block. Again, low X block, high X block. And then for the beginner level, we're just going to chamber, low X block. Again, chamber on the opposite hip, low X block. All right, left side first. Yep. Turning to the rear, yuck in, and then turning back to the front, yuck soup. So one more time, yuck soup, turn to the rear, 
yucked in, back to the front, yuck sit. For the intermediate level, yuck su, we're not turning, yuck jin. Again, yuck su, do not turn, yuck jin. And for the beginner level, we're just doing yuck su, which is a knife hand block, reverse punch. So again, yuck su, knife hand block, reverse punch, in front stance. Left side first. Yep. Inside outside block in front stance. Pull back, same hand low block in a fighting stance. Then step out again in the front stance, ridge hand. One more time. In out, your inside outside block front stance, low block fighting stance, ridge hand front stance. For the intermediate level, we're going to go into a front stance, inside outside block, go back into a fighting stance, low block. Again. Inside, outside block, and front stance. Low block, and fighting stance. And for the beginner level, we're just going to step out into an inside, outside block. Again, inside, outside block, in front stance. Stepping out into a front stance, low block, slide your back foot forward into a T stance, low spear, pull back, cat stance, two hand block, just like Kagan Odok. One more time, low block front stance, low spear in a T stance, and then two hand block in a fighting stance. For the intermediate group, we're going to step into a front stance with the low spear, pull back in the fighting stance, Double block like Odot. Again, front stance low spear, pull back fighting stance, double block like Odot. And then for the beginner, we're just going to step forward in front stance with a low spear. Front stance with a low spear. All right, left side first. Yep. combination, stepping out, this time into a fighting stance, low knife hand, center knife hand, shift into front stance, outside to inside chop with a high block. One more time, low knife hand, center knife hand, then into front stance, outside inside chop. For the intermediate level, we're going to go into a fighting stance and do low knife, center knife. Again, low knife, center knife. And then for the beginner level, which is a step out of fighting stance, low knife. So again, low knife. All right, left side first. Yep.
Start. technique line drills that you guys can practice at home. Um, we have the three levels. You can pick your own. You can add to these. You can subtract from them. You can come up with your own style of hand drills, whatever you want. These are, like I said, just uh, some ideas. If you don't have room at home to march down the floor, uh, that's fine too. There are two ways that you can fix that. You can either just step in place and then pull back to 2B after every single drill. Or, if you're feeling a little bit more energetic, you can jump in place to switch your stance. Right? That will work with some techniques better than others, but you should be able to figure it out. Leave that for a challenge for the rest of you.